work with the PowerShell command. So uh, I'm just going to take one of a command and I'm going to explain everything to you. So the command which I'm going to take is get ACL. So for what purpose the get ACL is used for? So at first the get ACL is used for getting the security settings. That is the security descriptor of a resource such as it, it may be a folder it may be a register it may be a file or uh, some other thing or some other resources so i'll just go i'll just open the powershell and now we can see the help menu just type get iphone help and type get iphone acl and hit enter here you can see all the syntax and the help which you which you have for the get acl command and if you are in if you need the help in detail then you just need to type detailed and here you can see all the parameters and so these are the thing which this command is having right now and we can also see the example for this get acl command examples so Just check it, the example was not coming here. So, for this command, there is no example here. So, I'll just go and check it in the online. So here you can see all the things. So by typing get help space get iPhone ACL space iPhone online, you can just directly go into your browser and check your command with the detailed description with all the examples. So let's execute the command. So I'm just going to type get ACL space. I'm just going to see the security descriptor for the Windows folder. So C colon space Windows. And I'm just going to hit enter. So here you can see the path which are going to check the security descriptor and the owner of the folder and the who all have access to that folder so if you see that you are not having a proper visual here uh, so I'm just going to give a command called format list so this is called as a pipeline and I'm just going to pipe this command with the format list I'm just going to hit enter so here you can see the proper view of the get ACL that is uh, it was listed in a proper manner and here you can see the path that is a windows folder path and the owner and the group and the access that is a creator owner and all the access which you have for the windows folder will be given here and if you go to the C folder and if you check it here by right clicking the windows folder and go to the properties and go to the security here you can see so these are the permissions which you can see there that is a security and this security description will be displayed in that place so this is how you are 
can check the security descriptor of a folder and let's check out an, another example for get ACL get ACL hyphen path hyphen H KLM system current control set so I am just using the tab button to complete the command that is a complete the path so I'm just going to check the security descriptor of this for registry key so I'm just going to use format list here and hit enter so here you can see you can get all the access details that is a security setting details of the key control in your registry settings and you can also see another example here like for a file so I'm just going to check see windows system 32 drivers etc and inside you will have your host file I'm just going to check the security descriptor of the host file so I'm just going to hit enter here and here you can see you can also see the security descriptor of a file folder and your registry key so this is how you can use the command get TACL Use the command, you can use the command get DACL for many other options here and these are the parameters which you can use with this command <coughs> I think you might have understand some more of how to use this get DACL command um, thank you for watching the video and Today I'm just going to give uh, partial commands for each and every camera. I'm just going to execute some examples and I'll just explain something about the partial and it might be useful for you, not in a clear manner, but it might be useful for you for your basic needs for executing the partial commands in your server too. So just subscribe my video to get more and more videos and um, thanks for watching this video